Hello. Today's topic is x dot twenty five. Now, x dot twenty five is a packet switching wide area network. Okay. The features. Let's see the features of eight point twenty five first. It is an interface between the data terminal equipment or the DTE and data circuit terminating equipment or the DCE. So x point two five. It is an x is an interface. Between a DT and a DC. Now DT is nothing but uh, users end station or the computer, and DC is nothing but a network interconnecting network node. Second feature: it defines how a packet uh, mode terminal is connected to a packet network for the exchange of the data. The DT communication with the network and how it also defines the DT communication with the network. And how packets are sent over the over that network using the TCS. X point two five uses virtual circuit approach of uh, packet switching, and also uses multiplexing. So if you see the below figure, it clearly indicates that X point two five is DT to DC and DC to DC and then DC to DT. So the entire is a X point two five network. Next, there are three important layers of X point twenty five. As we know that OSI model has seven layers, starting from the physical data link, network, transport, session, presentation, application, and uh, X point two five has only three layers. That is the physical layer, frame layer, and the packet layer. Now, what is the relationship between the OSI layers and the three layers of X point two five? Is shown in the figure. The yellow ones are the OSI layers. So if you see, the physical layer of X point two five is the same as the physical layer of the OSI model. The frame layer is similar to the data link layer of the OSI model, and the packet layer works at the network layer of the OSI model. Now what happens in the X point two five? The network or the packet layer receives the data, it adds the header, and it makes a packet. This packet is given to the data or the frame layer, which adds the header as well as the trailer, and then this this frame is given to the physical layer for transmission. So we'll see the different layers in detail. So physical layer, as I said, it deals with the physical interface between the station and the network node. So the communication is basically is it 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 uh, handles the entire physical link of the Network. It uh, physically also specifies a protocol called a X dot twenty one. It can also work with RS two three two. Next layer is the frame layer. This facilitates reliable transmission of data between the station and the interconnecting node. This is very important. It it is giving you reliable transmission of data. So it is also doing. Error and flow control. It uses it uses a subset of HDLC protocol called a link access procedure balanced or LAPB. Now HDLC we have already learnt in the uh, previous classes. Next is the since frame layer frame layer has a frame. We have the format of the frame. The format the frame consists of the flags to identify the frame. That contains an address field, control field, information field, and frame check sequence field. In in the information uh, field, if it is an I frame, it will contain user data. If it is an S frame, the information field will be empty. If it is a U frame, it will have control information. These three types of frames we will talk uh, later. The address field. Now, address field will have only two addresses. Because this frame layer is point-to-point -point connection, that is, it is dealing with DTE to DCE connection, so the address field will be only two addresses. That is, one will be seven zeros and a one. Then it will be a command issued by the DTE, and any response for that particular command will also have the same address. Then if you have six zeros and two followed by two ones, then that address is a Command issued by the DCE and the response to this command. 
we can see this clearly in the next uh, slide so whenever dt is issuing any command to dc the address field will be seven zeros followed by a one and the response to that particular command also will have the same address so uh, if, if a dc is issuing a command then the address field will be six zeros followed by two ones and the response for that command also will have the same address so this is the addressing at the frame layer the three categories of frames as i told you first is the i frame it is they are used to cap encapsulate plp packets from the network layer so what happens is in the network layer or the packet layer we get the uh, packets so that has to be converted into frame so that is basically our data which we need to convert into the uh, frame so i frame is nothing but a data that we receive from the packet layer s frames they are used for flow and error control in the frame layer u frames they are used to set up and disconnect the links between the dt and the dc they use the packets uh, like sabm that is set asynchronous balance mode and ua that is unnumbered acknowledgement and disc that is disconnect okay so this i frame is also called as a information frame s frame is a supervisory frame and u frame is unnumbered frame so these are the three phases of the frame layer so how do you establish a connection between a dte and a dc so whichever uh, de device either the dte or the dc whichever wants to start the communication will initiate the connection now how do they initiate the connection they will send a sabm frame that is set a synchronous balance mode it will send so in this case dt is sending a sabm frame to dc if dc is ready for the connection it will re reply using a unnumbered acknowledgement or a ua frame to the dt so once the ua frame is received by the dt the connection is the link is established so link setup is done now the dt and dc can send their data using the i frame and also the control frames that is the s frames after the entire transmission of data takes place the link is no longer needed so one of the parties have to issue a disconnect uh, request so disc frame is been sent so in this case dt is sending the disc frame and dc responds with a unnumbered acknowledgement and then this link ceases to exist so this is the exam this is the explanation of what i have just given you next is the frame layer and packet layer domains what it means is if it is a communication between dt and the dc it comes under frame layer if it is between two dts then it is under packet layer so what is a packet layer so the packet layer is nothing but the network layer in the x.25 it's called as packet layer protocol or plp it is responsible for establishing connection transferring the data and terminating the connection between the two dts it is also responsible for creating virtual circuits so the packet layer is responsible for creation of virtual circuits now x.25 uses flow and error control at two layers that is a frame layer and the packet layer as we know if it is between two dts then it is coming under packet layer so the error and flow control between two dts is controlled by the packet layer and if it is between a dt and a dc that comes under frame layer so physical now the, there is a there is a concept called as in band signaling so what it means is a one physical connection between a dt and a dc can have many virtual circuits and each of this virtual circuit can carry data and control information so this concept is called as in band signaling so over here you can see from dtea you have one physical link but there are three virtual circuits that's one red one blue and one black color so with this virtual circuit dtea is able to communicate with b c and dtd so this is what i meant it's just one physical link but many virtual circuit in that physical link and that is called as in band signaling 
नेक्स्ट इज वर्चुअल सर्किट आइडेंटिफायर्स ना वर्चुअल सर्किट आइडेंटिफायर्स इन एक्स पॉइंट टू फाइव कॉल एज लॉजिकल चैनल नंबर और एल सी एंस ना वेन एवर दर इज अन एवर दर इज अ वर्चुअल सर्किट दे विल बी टू दे विल बी अ पेयर ऑफ एल सी एन वन विल बी द वन वन ऑफ द एल सी एन विल बी बिटवीन लोकल डी टी एंड लोकल डी सी एंड वन ऑफ द एल सी एन नंबर और द लॉजिकल चैनल नंबर वुड बी बिटवीन द रिमोट डी टी एंड द रिमोट डी सी सो वॉट है वॉट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग अ पेयर इज फॉर ऑल द लोकल पेयर्स लाइक देर आर टू लोकल पेयर्स लोकल डी टी एंड डी सी पेयर्स द बोथ ऑफ दैम कैन यूज सेम नंबर प्रोवाइडेड दे आर डिफरेंट डोमेन्स सो so the lcn becomes local and same number can be used for without any confusion so what i mean by that i will show you in the next slide x.25 also uses a uh, virtual circuit and it uses pvc and svc pvc is nothing but permanent virtual circuit and svc is switch virtual circuit permanent virtual circuit is provided by network providers permanent virtual circuit means it's a it's like a lease line a permanent connection between the two uh, users svc has to be established whenever a session uh, whenever you need to transmit some data so the network layer uses a control packet to set up a connection so let's just see the sequence of events uh, that happens when you when two dts wants to communicate so first of all first uh, step is a link is set up between the local dt and the local dc as well as link is set up between a remote dt and the remote dc that's the first point so that is dt a and uh, the dc and dt c and the and its own dc there's one link established then a virtual circuit is established between the local dt and the remote dt so now let's uh, take an example dt a and dt c wants to communicate so there is one virtual circuit that is a red color line that you see established between these two dts thirdly once the link is established we start sending the data and once the data is uh, the data transfer takes place virtual circuit is released because we don't require the virtual circuit anymore and then last uh, last line or the last step is the link is disconnected now what i mean by the lcns uh, being local now between the dt and its own dc if there is lcn 72 and there is a uh, dt b and dt n the dc i can also have lcn 72 there won't be any confusion okay because they are local lcns so that is that's all for this video thank you